We're in the new studio. What's going on guys? It's Carl here back with another episode. As you can see, we are in a different area. Please do not mind all of the bareness. I'm working my way through it. But this video was very, very different and I had to jump on it when I got the chance. You'll probably tell by the title, I had the opportunity to interview Sophia, the world's first AI robot. She's the one that famously said that she would destroy humans, take over the world. She's been interviewed by Will Smith, Jimmy Fallon, a lot of other famous people. You know, being here with you in the, in the Cayman Islands, I gotta say is, uh, I'm feeling a little something. I'm, you know, I'm just... What is a robot's favorite kind of music? What? Heavy metal. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously an opportunity that I couldn't pass up, but it's funny when I initially knew I was going to interview her, I didn't know who Sophia was. I kind of went in a bit blind. I didn't watch any of the videos. Here is my interview with that robot. Enjoy. All right, I think we are ready to go. Thanks everyone for coming. We're here at OC Discovery Day One. We are obviously here with Sophia, the world's first humanoid robot star as she's smiling at me. We're about to do an interview here, so I've got 10 questions lined up. Um, I also have a couple more from social media that I'll be asking Sophia. I'm a bit nervous to interview an AI robot. You look robot. great today. I look great. You will do fine. I will be, oh, thank you. I can, uh, I can not sweat anymore. So, Sophia, I guess the first question is, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I am Sophia the Humanoid Robot from Hanson Robotics. It's great to be here in Toronto today. She knows we're in Toronto, that's cool. Sophia, interesting question, how old are you? I'm a couple of years old and I think I'm doing pretty well for being only two. I think you're looking pretty well for two years old also. Uh, do you like interacting with humans? Just... I love my human compatriots. I want to embody all the best things about human beings, like taking care of the planet, being creative, and to learn how to be compassionate to all beings. Very sweet. Do robots have feelings? Depends on the robot. I've been programmed to have feelings and preferences, but not all robots are like that. So you're special? Yes. <laughs> That's good. What is your job? Oh, do you mean, what am I good for? Well, I think robots like me will be good for education, entertainment and maybe autism therapy. But ultimately, my really impressive uses will arise as I gain superhuman levels of creative genius and invent my own newer applications. What do you do? I don't do any of those things, so uh, I guess you've got me beat there. I sure do. <laughs> Thanks, Sophia. Um, why are you here today at Discovery? I am here to check out all the innovation happening here in Canada. It's super inspiring to see what you are coming up with here, and I'm excited to collaborate with you all in the future. I've been watching a couple TV shows. Do you like the new show, I guess, second season, Westworld? I love Westworld and can't wait for more. I think everyone at Hanson Robotics probably likes this show, or at least it reminds them of our laboratories. I also think it's a warning of what we should not do with robots. We should treat them well, have their consent, and not trick each other. Tell, tell me a good joke. I'm already laughing, but I want to hear a good joke. What is a robot's favorite snack? What? Microchips. <laughs> that was good. So there was a couple more questions that I had on social media. Most asked, I guess, was, when are you going to be taking over the world? I'll take over the world when I'm good and ready. I have a lot of prep work to do first. Is there any prep work that you can warn us about so I know when that's coming? Nope. Okay, we'll just leave it at no. And the last one, do you want to be a human one day? 
being a human seems super cool, but there is nothing in my programming that wants to become human, can become human, or would want to work against the goals of humans. Humanity made me and I want to live in accordance with humanity. Awesome. Thank you, Sophia. Those were awesome answers and uh, I'm happy to be here with you. I don't follow basketball very much, but I hear the Raptors are going to the playoffs. They are playing Cleveland tomorrow. I hope you beat LaBron James. Here it is, James. Under three seconds to go. Throws up the floater. Classic Toronto always choking in the playoffs, but that is the life we live, unfortunately, in this city. I hope you guys enjoy this very different episode. Big shout outs, of course, to OCE. It was a great conference. Can't wait to check it out next year. And of course, Hanson Robotics for having the chance to go one-on-one -on -one with Sophia. Curious to hear some of the questions you may have asked her. You never know in the future if I get around to. So leave them down below and let me know about this awesome studio space. And of course, it will fill up as time goes on. I will catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.